Hey there, aspiring entrepreneurs. Have you ever dreamed of making up to $1 million a month? Well, you're in the right place. Today, we're diving deep into the world of webinar funnels, what they are, how they work, and most importantly, how you can create your own powerhouse system that can skyrocket your income. Imagine reaching thousands of potential customers all while you sleep. Sounds incredible, right? Stick around as I share the complete blueprint to building your very own webinar funnel. By the end of this video, you'll have actionable steps to start your journey toward that financial freedom. Let's get into it. Now this is how Webinar Funnel looks. The Webinar Funnel is one of the most powerful funnels on the internet right now. If you want to sell digital courses, usually you use webinars when you're selling something for a slightly more premium price. And I'm talking about, you know, $300 to about $2,000. That's what you use. But you can also use a webinar funnel to generate applications to get people onto onto the phone with you, right? So as you'll see in this particular funnel, we didn't put where where we push people. Because again, when somebody joins and goes to our live webinar, the call to action on that live webinar may be go and buy now, which is sending people to a sales page or an order page, or maybe go and apply. So it all depends on what your goal is with your webinar. But the reason you use a webinar is because you want people to know, like, and trust you. You need to build a relationship with people prior to them actually being able to pull out their credit card and buy something from you. Okay? A webinar usually lasts 60 to 90 minutes, and that's a long time to build that bond. If you share stories, if you structure your webinar properly, people will pay attention to what it is that you say. They'll feel like they have a connection with you right away. And you'll be able to sell them pretty much anything you want if your webinar is super engaging and structured the way it needs to be. Okay? And this is the best way to structure your webinar funnel. And I'll break it down for you right now. So first is obviously your webinar registration page, right? You want people to opt in, sign up for the upcoming webinar, whenever that webinar may be. You could do this in both an evergreen format and you can do it in a live format. It doesn't really, it doesn't really matter, but you're getting people to register for your webinar. And obviously on that thank you page, you can have a call to action and you should have a call to action on your thank you page. And that could be pitching them a small little one-time offer so that you can start recuperating some of your advertising costs. It could be just sending them to a survey. You could definitely stack on kind of a survey funnel onto this, but you want to have something on your thank you page. You could just keep it super simple and just say, hey, thank you for registering for the webinar. Look out for your emails for when to attend the webinar, but that's where you send people on to your thank you page. And obviously you want to send them a confirmation email as soon as they register. And the next thing that you want to do with the webinar funnel is pre-frame your webinar. So there are a couple of ways that you can do that. The most popular way and this is kind of something I learned from Frank Kern, and it works extremely well, is this pre-framing by sending people a couple videos before they ever attend the webinar. So you send them a pre-frame email with a pre-frame video, and then a second pre-frame email with a second pre-frame video, a different type of video. And on that video, there's really no call to action. There's really nothing that you're trying to do. You're just trying to educate them, getting get them excited for the upcoming webinar. And then it goes and transitions into your attendance sequence. So the day of your webinar, even 24 hours before, 48 hours before, you want to start sending people emails so that they show up, right? The biggest problem right now with webinars is show up rates. It's really hard to get people to show up, especially if you're in the internet marketing space, because people are so jaded when it comes to webinars. They know that they're just some big sales pitch at the end of the day. So you need to try and get people to show up. And in order to make that happen, you have to have a strong attendance sequence. And that attendance sequence is going to push people, obviously, to your live webinar, right? That's the whole point of it, is to push people there. If they go on and take action, great. If they don't, you definitely want to send them that replay so you have your replay sequence pushing people to the replay page. And again, I'll show you how you can stack some of this stuff with other funnels. How you can stack a product sales page over here, a product sales funnel, or an application funnel, depending on what it is that you're trying to do, who your dream client is. So that's the webinar funnel. Again, if you have any questions, let us know. Wow, now you have a clear roadmap to creating your very own webinar funnel. Remember, it's not just about the tech. It's about connecting with your audience and delivering real value. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more insights that can transform your business. And hey, drop a comment below about what part of the webinar funnel you're most excited to try. I can't wait to hear your success stories. Until next time, keep hustling and let's make those dreams a reality.